everybody. The Children's Bible Hour TV brings you Aunt Bertha and her happy family. The Lord, oh, the Lord, oh, the Lord, remember me. The Lord, oh, the Lord, oh, the Lord, remember me. The Lord, oh, the Lord, oh, the Lord, remember me. When he on the moon. I took Jesus as my Savior, you sing him too. I took Jesus as my Savior, you sing kept asking God to send someone to do the program, and finally he gave me the answer. He said, why don't you stop this silly prayer and realize I have sent someone, you. Now get to work and do the job. I'm happy because Christ lives in me and that he grows sweeter every day. Well, thank you, Eleanor. You very nicely introduced the Sunshine Boys. I did? How? Well, you see, they're going to play a song called Still Sweeter Every Day. Sounds good to me. All right, Victor and Lloyd, we're ready to hear from you. As kids, we were excited about meeting other kids out on the road and going into the churches and finding the youth group and being with the, the kids and then anticipating them then beginning to listen to the radio program. And um, back in those years, the radio program was heard on Saturday mornings at 11 o'clock and it was sort of a simulcast where it was, all, it was heard on uh, most of the stations all at the same time. We were always trying to get people to tune in on Saturday morning at 11 o'clock to hear Aunt Bertha and all the happy kids. And of course, I was one of the happy kids. <laughs> I, I want you to help her with the dishes tonight. Me help with the dishes? What do you think I am, a sissy kid? Dishes is a girl's job. It's very convenient for you that everything around here seems to be a girl's job. But Trust in the Lord and don't despair. He is a friend so true. No matter what your troubles are, Jesus will see you through. Sing. Best thing that happened was Lena DeVord came to my, my mom's house, to our house, and said that I belonged on Children's Bible Hour. My mom took me down there to audition, and uh, I remember Ken Lewis and Uncle Charlie telling me that I could be on the program, and Aunt Bertha told me I could be on the program, and I was so excited. And Children's Bible Hour gave me the courage, it gave me the worth, it showed me that, that um, I matter. I, I just know the Lord had me placed there for a reason. Came unto his own, his own received him not. But all who will believe, the power will receive. The music director at that time was Fred Standridge. 
and Fred was a choir director, and Fred was also a director of music at our church, and he knew that I was a loud singer and, and sang on pitch, apparently, and everything, and said, you should try out for Children's Bible Hour. Every Tuesday after school, I would be going to Children's Bible Hour for practice with the special groups. Wednesdays, we'd go after school for the choir. It was a wonderful time of my life. was three years old, did a few recordings, and then a week after my first, or my fourth birthday, I did my first in-church performance in Indiana. And I sang a song, Our God Reigns, which is my favorite song. I used to run around the house singing. I sang my song and then sat back down and fell asleep in my mom's lap in the audience. And that's how I got started, and I loved it from day one. I'm teaching my children on the Christian foundations I learned by being on the program um, through my parents, Uncle Charlie, Mr. Ken, Mr. Paul, Mr. Nelson, all the classics. Just a little bit. My, Melissa, you are absolutely beautiful. I know. I'm a grown-up mommy. Oh, a grown-up mommy. Is that what grown-up mommies always wear? Do they always dress like that? Only when they're going to fancy places. I see. Also, when you leave pretty soon and take your time going, all right, out the center doors at the information desk is our current issue of Keys for Kids. We urge you to take along a copy, one per family. Take the keys for kids along with you. All right, will you do that? And then I uh, kind of got involved in helping Ken Lewis with the choir at one point where he was um, just wanting some fresh ideas and so he allowed me to start selecting music and then I suggested let's start getting the kids moving and adding some stage choreography and then um, he kind of liked the idea of less pressure on him to put some of these things together. And at one point he became sick and um, Uncle Charlie called me and he said, well, you're on. Front and center is Mrs. Janice Dudley. Jan is our music director and responsible for coordinating the program. And then uh, later brought Terry Ritchie as my accomplice in her artistic um, abilities to um, help design placards, etc., that the kids could use as part of our presentations. When we are striving to grow as Christians, God starts to produce fruit in our lives. In the late 80s, I became involved and was asked to be on the board of directors for CBH, and I was the secretary for 13 years on the board, and came off the board to be with Uncle Charlie when he retired, which allowed me to go on tour with CBH. One of the last uh, tours was North Dakota, and it, it was a whole big story that was told there, but all the kids had an opportunity to lead someone to the Lord, and it was life-changing for many of them. We were singers in CBH from 1995 to 2000. We were also the duet team together with CBH. That's how we met. And now we're married. North Dakota. Fargo, North Dakota. Is on a, we're supposed to have, if I remember right, we were expecting a really big crowd in Fargo, one of the biggest ones for the whole summer tour, and just had awful storms, streets were flooded, torrential downpour, a very small crowd ended up showing up and after they did that, all the power went out, <laughs> and um, we didn't know if the show was going to happen or not. We started singing the song, God is in Control, in the back room. And as we were praying, the lights came back on, and we were able to go on stage and do a shortened version, but 
got through the entire the entire concert that as choir members we got to be in the back and actually talk to a lot of the kids that came forward to make a decision to dedicate their lives to, to Christ and actually got to lead them in that. And the effect that that had on the kids in Children's Bible was phenomenal. 